Hello everyone, this video outlines some of the chart drawing tools MultiCharts has to offer. They allow you to manually plot lines and other forms of measurement or notation directly onto the chart. We'll start by opening up, up a new chart. This is of course done by going to File, New, Chart Window. As you can see, the chart appears with factory default settings. Formatting a new chart window is explained in depth in another video of mine, so I'm going to quickly change a few settings the chart is easier for you guys to see. Okay, so the drawing tools can be accessed in a number of ways. You can right click on the chart and select insert drawing, or what I prefer is to use the drawing tools toolbar, which should show up on the bottom here by default. I found it beneficial to customize which drawing tools show up on the toolbar. This can be done by right clicking on the toolbar and selecting customize. In the window that pops up, make sure drawing tools is highlighted and under commands, uncheck any boxes next to any drawing tools you don't plan on using. This will organize your toolbar by removing the unnecessary icons. You can also control where you want to place the toolbar within the main framework of multi-charts place it up top, on the left, on the right, or even detach it into its own window. Let's try using a few of the tools. A simple trend line can be drawn by clicking on this icon here, moving over to the chart, defining your first point by clicking once, and then moving your mouse to the second point where you click again. You'll notice when any drawing is selected, it will have solid squares at both ends. This allows you to click, hold, and drag the line to move it around as a whole or to move just one of the endpoints to the same except on the solid square itself. When selected, hitting the delete key on your keyboard will delete the line. Changing the properties of this new trend line can be done by either double clicking on the line or right clicking and selecting format trend line. Here you can select the style, calculation properties, and even configure price alerts. Next in the toolbar, horizontal lines are drawn by going through the same process and clicking on the price level you desire to plot the line. Drawing Fibonacci retracement lines are done similar to a trend line, but will plot multiple lines, all which can be configured. Please note that Fib retracement drawings are selected by clicking on the diagonal line that goes from the high to the low of the drawing and not by clicking on the individual price levels. Next, a text box can be inserted by clicking on the T icon. On the chart, click where you'd like the text box to be placed. Then you will input your text and adjust the properties before clicking OK. The text box can be moved around with a click and hold and drag. You'll actually notice with any of the chart drawings, when you click and hold and drag the drawing, a, a little data box will appear that lets you pinpoint the drawing's location. Also, if you've accumulated a lot of drawings on your chart and want to manage them all at the same time, you can right-click on the chart and select Format Drawings. This will give you a breakdown of what you have plotted on your chart. A feature I found useful within the drawing tools is this last icon here that reads Remain in Drawing Mode. It looks like a pencil with a lock next to it. When this feature is enabled, your mouse will remain ready to draw another line of that style right away instead of defaulting back to the regular cursor arrow between every drawing you make. So it makes things a little easier. You can also change between drawing tools when in this drawing mode. And to get back to, to normal, you can just click on the icon once more. This concludes this video on chart drawing tools and multi charts. Thanks for watching.